Good evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. It is Thursday, Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. And, uh, well, being May 23rd means that it is day 144 <laughs> of, you know, the whole being sober, no drinking or anything. Thursdays are usually, uh, once again, I'll just say Thursdays are typically my favorite day of the week. This one, once again, is really annoying because I have spent all of today doing the one, th one of the few things I absolutely hate doing. And uh, let's just say, kind of think backward to what uh, what Tessa said that we, we were going to have happen today. Uh, property management was supposed to come out today to do their monthly pest control. Because they sent a letter in the mail last week saying that they'd be out Thursday the 23rd. Well, today's May 23rd. It's it's that Thursday. Usually it's the last Thursday of the month, but for some reason they sent us the letter for the 23rd. Well, they didn't show up. Which means when I know they're supposed to be coming out here, they usually come in the morning. Like I'm talking like. 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning is when they're usually here so we got up early got some extra cleaning done and i had to do the one thing i absolutely detest doing and that was wait the one thing i very much hate doing is wait i do not like waiting and the reason is when i wait my attention goes to making sure I am prepared because of how easily distracted I am. I couldn't do anything in VR because if I did, and if they knocked on the door, the likelihood is if I went into VR, then yes, they would have shown up and I'd have to take everything off anyway. And likely they'd have come in because they have a key to enter. And that's how it would have gone with the notice because it says, if you're not there, we'll, we'll use a key to enter the premises. Legally, that's what they're allowed to do. They're the property managers, and they gave more than 24 hours prior notice. Well, they didn't show up. I spent all day waiting on these people. All day. And uh, like I said, the one thing I really don't like doing is wait. I do not like waiting on people. That, that's the biggest thing. I do not like waiting on people or things to happen where it's entirely, if, if, if it's something I have control over, I'll just get it done. That's what I prefer to do. Otherwise, I feel bad for, you know, not getting something done. But if I have to sit there and wait on people, on other people to have things done, I'm an, unha I, I'm an unhappy customer. Well, I'm just an unhappy person because I'm bored, I'm tired, and I just want to get things done. <sighs> well... That didn't happen, so they didn't get here. I spent the entirety of today waiting because I couldn't start doing this until 6 p.m. when I knew for sure that they couldn't be out here. They, they, they have to be here within business hours, and their business hours end at about 6 p.m. So after 6 p.m., they can't be here. And that's why I'm recording right now because they they cannot be here outside of work uh, business hours unless it's, say, like a maintenance emergency, which they wouldn't do anyway. I know there are certain things involving maintenance that need to happen, but they're not an emergency. It has to be emergency maintenance, and it's not emergency maintenance. The biggest thing I can say right now is that these are already fogging up because 6 o'clock rolled around. I'm like, well, it's 6 o'clock. I'm tired as can be, and they haven't shown up. I need to get in here and do my daily recording. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a little stuffy, to be expected. It, that's to be expected because the everyone's been sick and it's and I'm still waiting on it to fully hit me. It's hit everyone in the household except for me. So far, I I am fully expecting that it to hit me any day or any hour any day because when it hits it'll hit. It hit all of them really really fast and they did all have high fevers so I should expect to be dizzy and have chest pain. But please excuse me for a moment. I need to defog these lenses. Ugh. It is a... Uh... Ugh. It's just one of those days, I swear. And if you see, this is me wiping the lens down. 
with a lint swipe. <laughs> but so far, I'm curious to see how it's go how other viewers have have felt seeing this avatar be used repeatedly between Tessa and myself. Obviously, I'm on here less than Tessa for some well, I'd say for some reason. But once I get sick, it's going to be a lot of Tessa anyway. I still need to talk to Lily and Tessa to see if we can do that makeup video since we didn't get, do anything day before yesterday or, you know, Tuesday. <sighs> because of this overall situation and just our sleep being terrible. <sighs> Ugh, and it's like every time I put this headset on, I get really stuffy too. I can't tell if it's allergies, just my sinus having pressure on it from the headset, or if I'm finally getting sick. I can't tell just yet. We'll have to wait and see. And you know how much I hate waiting. I'd like to just get things over with. No, it doesn't. It Like getting things over with, there's too, too much to ask for, apparently. So enjoy the space. Well, it's not really space. We're on just this walkway. What is this world called again? This world is just called Rest in Space. So if you want to go somewhere where it's filled with a lot of colors, just go here. Lost in Space. Yes. Yeah. But there's that. I did, I did watch a really long video to kind of pass the time because I don't like to play games when I'm... I, I don't like playing g games at all when I'm waiting on these people because... I don't want to have to be in the middle of something I can't get up from in order to deal, you know, with property management. Plus, I don't like them seeing what's on. I don't like them seeing what's on my computer. So usually I try to just put blank things on my computer monitors briefly while they're here, get that done and then get back to what I want to work on. But today it was more. Just sit there and wait. And I sat there and waited for 10 hours. I, I have been sitting around for 10 hours. Do you know what sitting around and doing next to metaphorical nothing does to someone? It makes you really, really tired. So I'm tired. It might not sound like it. I took some caffeine. That's what I did. I had some caffeine before I got in here to say, hey, guys, I'm sober. But yeah, that's what Tara do. Maybe that's what I should. Maybe that's something I could do one day because I, I want to make my own. I, I want to have my own line of drinks like I want to have my own line of carbonated tea and other drinks. Maybe I'll make my own version of Mountain Dew and call it Terra Dew. Although that does sound kind of gross, but I'll have to think of something. Mmm, the thoughts, the thoughts. Mmm, yes. Well, anyway, my lenses are already fogging up again. It's, it, it is extreme. We're at 100% humidity today. Like, it's upper, upper 80s, low 90s Fahrenheit today, but 100% humidity. 100%. It's been misting just about all day. So you're not getting away from being moist. Mm. I know how some people, I know people that do not like the word moist. Although I, I will say people disliking the word moist is it, it's overplayed. And there is a word that is commonly used that I dislike more than moist. And it, it just sounds grosser to me. Just the word sounds gross. What it, what it is like the noun itself is not gross, but the word I think just sounds gross, completely gross, milk. Just think milk. Say it slow or um, enunciate the word milk. It, it's, uh, it's gross. Like, how did we come up with the word milk? Milk. Give me the milk. I will milk this content for all it's worth. Milk. <laughs> yeah, like, I do not like the word milk. It's, ugh. Uh, at least it's not as bad as that, uh, that, one per that one person on that viral video that just couldn't stand the sound of styrofoam and she would almost throw up. 
just by hearing styrofoam squeak on itself. I don't know the name of the original video and I don't have it on hand, but it's not, it's like my dis, my dislike of the word milk is not as severe as that lady's, um, aversion to the sound of styrofoam. It's nowhere near that bad, but it kind of reminds me of that. Although if I were to say that leaves that level of discomfort is the very, (sighs) the, the sight or thought of seeing black widows. There, there are two, three, there, there are three genuine fears. I have three genuine fears. One, black widows, because when I was a young child, I was bitten by one and got hospitalized briefly. So huh, that was cool uh, back there, not not being bitten by the black widow. That that scared the crap out of me. And they do. Uh, I do not like thinking about it. OK, it's I, I don't even like seeing black widows. Lily, it could Lily it could tell you the explicit side for just how severe my reactions to seeing a black widow are. Um, but I don't want to get into that thing. Um, I I just don't want to get into that. The other fear that is kind of justified or logical step ladders. I very much dislike step ladders. I don't like climbing on them. I get extremely scared. It's not even heights. I, I can deal with being really high up. I, and I can deal with like sturdy ladders. I just really, really don't like step ladders. Of all the things, I, do, I don't like climbing on a stepladder. They they make me way too nervous. They're too rickety. Maybe it's the lack of stability. Maybe that's what it is. The other one that is absolutely what you would call an, an, an irrational fear is if you look in my YouTube shorts from an old, old clip from my Twitch streaming times back in 2019, 2020, pretty sure that one was 20. I want to say that one was still 2019. Oh, wait, wait, wait end of 2019 early 2020 is what i'd say uh i'll have to go over the numbers or the timing again because lily did have her headset at the time is um chucky e. cheese mascot i hate that thing i really don't like it it's it's, it's a very immediate it's a very immediate reaction for me and People joked that it was the FNAF franchise that made me have an irrational fear of Chuck E. Cheese, the mouse mascot. It was not. I'm, I am sorry to say this fear predates FNAF by several years. In fact, it was uh, I, I, I obtained this fear of Chuck E. Cheese, the mouse in 2006. That's how long it's been, and I thought, and it happened this year where I thought I would have been past that, like it may have been some kind of joke, but someone got, someone changed into that avatar in a public world I was in visiting with everyone, and my reaction was so fierce that I immediately went to my home world. That That's how immediate the reaction was. So at, at first I was like, oh, maybe I'm just joking and over-exaggerating that fear. No, no, I wasn't. I immediately noped out of that public world and went home and then logged out of VR chat. So apparently I really, I just really do not like Chuck E. Cheese. And I am very glad that they that they filed for bankruptcy. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. It's just, I just, I, I'm hoping they never deal with that mascot again. How about that? That mascot just creeps me out too much. And if you and um, hit, hit hit a like and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you'd like to hear the story of how I obtained that fear. If you want to hear that story, I'll tell it. But it, it's um, I can't really say it's all that interesting. But it's to me, it's still ridiculous how it came to be. But you have to leave a like and leave a comment in the in the comment section down below if you want to hear that story. Otherwise, I'm not telling anyone. And we have to pass a we have to pass a threshold of likes, and possibly comments. So you have to pass a threshold. So if you really really want to see it, share this with your friends. Ha <laughs> ha! I have ways. I I have uh, I have my ways of not telling things, although giving an incentive for me to uh, open up about them. So if you want to hear it, you heard the instructions. Comment and share. Comment, like, share. Yeah, there there's the process. But 
I'm absolutely done waiting on property management. I know they're not coming out here because it's 6.23 p.m. There's no way. If they showed up at this time, I would actually, I believe I would legally have the right to tell them to leave because this is not business hours anymore. They have to they have to operate within business hours. But I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that being the case, they'll be here next Thursday instead. They probably got the dates wrong and... Um, Ever since this uh, notice that they're, that the organization is dissolving and they're going to be selling off to new property management, they've been unfortunately unreliable. It's to be expected when you're going through a lot of, I almost want to call it bureaucratic paperwork, but we're not dealing with bureaucrats. So they're, they're, acting like they're, act, they're acting like bureaucrats by taking their time and not communicating to even each other. But in, in times like this where you know that you're laying off staff and you're, you know, selling off assets, which is why I need to start a GoFundMe so I can just buy this house outright. So I don't have to deal with that because we did get one of those consider this a 90 day notice to vacate, but they've given me a different story where they're probably, they're probably getting new property managers, but they can't tell me anything until they have new property management anyway. So I have no idea what's really going on. So really, for me, what I'd like to do is gain the fine, the um, the support necessary in order to, you know, buy this property outright and operate it ourselves, which would also give me the opportunity to do some renovations to the place and expand all the all the projects we're trying to do here, uh, which in, which includes all the stuff I'm doing here on YouTube, which originally was also going to be going on to rumble but it didn't happen that that just stopped and i don't bother i don't even like i could start going back to twitch but i'm i'm noticing i'm not much of a live speaker i could try it there have been people who said they enjoy what i do i'm just um i'm not used to live speaking anymore and i do a lot better speaking standing up it's a lot easier to talk standing up than it is sitting down. That sounds really stupid. But I'd like to just own this property because it would make everything I want to do so much easier. I'd be able to put shelves on the wall. I'd be able to do expansions, you know, after going through house expe uh, inspections and all that stuff. And, and by that, and you know, like the inspection agencies kind of stuff. But... There was a lot more we'd be able to do with owning a fixer-upper like this. It, um, and by, boy, howdy, this is a fixer-upper property. It's a fixer-upper. So I, I, I still need to find out from property management how much they'd want for this property and see if they're doing an auction or anything like that. Because if they're auctioning the if they're going to auction the property to property managers, I'll find out how much it is and we'll push ourselves into it so we could finance this house. I, I don't expect it to be a whole lot, but I do expect uh, repairs to be expensive. There's repairs to the roof that are needed, repairs to the carport that are needed, repairs to the shed. Um, uh, some, some of the electrical needs fixing, like um, one light bulb on the light fixture in the bathroom constantly shorts out. I replace that light bulb every few months, no matter what bulb I, type of bulb I put in there that just shorts out. So I know there's a short in the wiring there. One of the uh, electrical outlets in the living room doesn't work whatsoever. So that would need repair. Um, there are a whole litany of fire ant nests throughout the backyard. I need to deal with those. So there are a lot of things that need to happen to this yard in order for it to, um, well, be better. Now, if I really could and we had the money, which um, is just, you know, tall asking, I would I would check with uh, zoning uh, like zoning with um, city management to see whether or not we can um, go deep down where our driveway is because it's uh, our driveway and shed are, are are together but they're separated they're, they're separate from the house so I'd like to expand the house into where the shed is and turn that into an extra area of the house but one thing I really wish we could do is dig down where the driveway is so we can do a uh, basement shelter because it does have a storm shelter attached to the shed, which our property management has never given us access to, which uh, from what I've been hearing is extremely illegal because that's a storm shelter for tornadoes. 
And they've had it bolted shut to where we can't access it whatsoever for the past five years. And from what I've been hearing, that is possibly illegal because we have access. There's a storm shelter on our property that is just for this property that they've blocked access to. So I, I don't really know. I don't have an answer for that. I'd have to look it up. But at this point, it's a question of if it's even worth it to bother because they're dissolving anyway. But if I buy this property outright, I would expand that into being a basement shelter. And I'd probably run like one of those, um, well, a plenum cable, a plenum Ethernet cable from our main router to, um, what, are they, what do they call those things? A uh, Not an extender. I can't remember the name offhand. It's been so long since I've taken CompTIA, but I'd run one of those into that basement so I'd have my office in, in a basement Oh, so I wouldn't have to worry about too much noise and I'd be able to do a whole heaps more in a basement. I would not pee down, I would not pee down the basement drain like some people boast. Jeremy of the quartering and calling you out on that one because whenever you're on X, you often... Uh, so it used to be for like once a week, you would mention that you would pee, that you would have peed down your basement drain. That's weird, bro. It's kind of weird. But while I say it's weird, it's probably just a guy thing. If it's there. I mean, if the people who joke in memes about pooping down a basement drain or a bathroom, you know, uh, bathtub drain and then, you know, stomping it through the, the grate. That's disgusting. Please don't ever do that. And if you admit to doing that, you deserve to be publicly shamed. I understand the whole peeing thing. It's still it's still weird, but I guess it's a dude thing. But don't ever, ever admit to doing what they talk about in the memes, because then you deserve to be publicly shamed. That's disgusting. Uh, but I, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I have definitely done enough ranting. Again, uh, we'll leave it at here today. Today has been no, uh, uh, unbelievably unproductive. I've gotten less, I, I've gotten less than, I, I, I had to say nothing, but I really do not like using the word nothing. But I, I have not really done anything productive today other than wait on someone who didn't show up. But um, if you want to hear the story about the whole Chuck E. Cheese thing, Remember, like, comment, share, and if I pass, a, th uh, it's, it's going to be a small threshold, so don't worry. It's not like I'm going to say, like, 1,000 likes because, <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't happen. I'm not going to say that would never happen because it could, but at the same time, I don't see that being within a reasonable reality. And again, like I was saying, I don't like using the word nothing, but that's also because of astrophysics and philosophy uh, conflicting with my thoughts of nothing. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it here because obviously at the time of recording and finishing this up, it's 6.32 p.m. That's how much time I've wasted today. So I've really got to get going to make sure this gets out in a timely fashion, right? So I'll get going. I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their Thursday. This is Terra Quator. I hope you enjoy, have enjoyed your May 23rd. Remember, this weekend is coming up, which is a Memorial Day weekend. So those who are American and know people who have fallen, make sure you prepare for that because Memorial Day is approaching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, which is day 144. I'll see everyone on Saturday. You'll see Tessa tomorrow. See you around.